Madam Speaker, I'm raising on a point of order. Your order in who? And uh, order 82. Madam Speaker, there is a member here who was once warned to dress properly while in the house. He is back in the house without a necktie for the second time. I humbly pray and I is it in order, Madam Speaker, for the member to be in the house without a necktie? Is it in order? Where is the member? Where is the member? Is sitting neighbor, the Honorable Member of Parliament dressed in red? The lady. Member, if you know you don't have a tie, please. Members, it is an embarrassment for you to go to, to come to the house when you're not dressed in a parliamentary way. Kindly do remember that you should be dressed in a parliamentary way. Yes, Honorable Minister. Yes. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. I'm Kawahenda Flavia Rwabhoro, the MP Chegegwa. I would like to seek clarification from the Honorable Minister for Public Service on the issue of mergers that the, minister, the Ministry of Public Service has written already to some or most of the organizations and agencies that they have proposed for merging, stopping them from recruiting until the merger happens. Madam Speaker, we have so many workers who are retiring. We have so many gaps in staffing. We don't know when the merger will take place. We have not even looked at the laws to repeal or up uphold. And now you tell the agencies to stop recruiting and you cause a panic in the agencies. Well, may may, I, may the, the minister speak to this and allow agencies and ministries and departments to continue to recruit until the merger happens, Madam Speaker. Honorable Minister. Yes, another clarification. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. The clarification I want to seek from the Minister, whether he can tamper and disband or make a merger before bringing back to Parliament where the laws that put in place these entities is brought to Parliament to repeal them. Right now, Speaker, UNRWA has an act. Uganda Road Fund has an act. And unfortunately, now we have an Attorney General whom I trust very well. I would like to get his opinion. For anything, right now, Speaker, where you are merging these entities, there are people who are going to lose jobs. For example, when you go to Ministry of Works, the workers there are earning maybe three million per month. 5 million. These commissioners are earning over 50 million per month. Others have got lead cars. They have escorts with them. They are kings in their entities. Now, if this law was passed by Parliament, putting in place the Uganda UNRWA Act, the Uganda Act, they must come back. to parliament can, can and I, government can, can and I? the attorney general so the attorney general is there he can give his opinion i know one of them because i might say bring matters out of excitement but we must talk about law now and the legal brains are here to give you the best currents in what you are saying can thank I, you honorable speaker thank you can i have can i hear from honorable chair because honorable. i've seen a letter written by him honorable speaker honorable. i have a Clarification. Madam Speaker, this uh, side also. Just a minute. Let Mr. Ch uh, Honorable Chair give us, then you, you come in. Yes. Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker. Madam Speaker, first of all, I want to thank our honorable colleague, 
for that concern and generally the members of parliament for the concern they have in the subs in the sector of works and transport right now speaker the strength of our government is mainly on, founded on many things but two major achievements securing the entire country is one Secondly, opening the country up, Madam Speaker. That today you can drive from here and be in Bundubujo in the next five hours is one of our very big achievements. And it is one of those milestones that help NRM to fly its flag. It is true, Madam Speaker, that Cabinet resolved to move in the direction of rationalization for reasons that the Minister of Public Service will, I'm sure, at an appropriate time. Wait. This weekend on UBC. The marriage is yeah. a cultural dis the disruptor. Cultural. If you Go can't beat her up, if you can't, you know, slap up sense can into her, can you imagine? just walk away. Because if she keeps speaking, she may arouse a certain type of anger within you. You see, the Bible says oh, in Proverbs God. 14, 29, that the, he that is slow to anger yeah. has great understanding. But he whose temper is hastily revealed shows great folly. Now for a man, we opt for the second bit. Because we don't want to look weak. When your wife says, we need to talk, I go to UPDF right there uh -huh. and get all the tankers, the arsenals, the <laughs> weapons, and I face them in her like this and say, go ahead. <laughs> So rather than talking, you're creating an intimidating scenario. Exactly. You, I mean, she's alone. She don't have tankers. She don't have the, the katushas. Uh -huh. She don't have uh -huh. any of that. And what uh -huh. do you do? You bring all of them and you face them and you say, let's talk. And you're hiding behind yes. all this. Now imagine you're in this setting in lockdown. And locking Moreto Bliss. Wait, Abu. Tuna Marilisa. And what are you doing throwing papers all over the place? 
I'm looking for an invoice for a sound system and cables that I received yesterday, but I can't find it. You know there is a way of keeping all this in one place and available to you as and when you need it. I really wish there was one, because the way these invoices grow legs and disappear. I believe this is what you're looking for. Eh? Now how did it get there? Tabo! Do you know that with Efris, you can stay on track of all your business transactions and improve on your record keeping? How so? Katituliku computer with Efris. I just search using the fiscal document number and I retrieve the records I'm looking for. Bookkeeping becomes simple after that. Ah. Kapo, also me. I began using URS Kakasa solutions and now I'm in charge of my business and you can as well. Kakasa, be sure you are in charge of your business. Uganda Revenue Authority. Developing Uganda together. You Uganda Fast. Patriots and Program in Secondary Schools was launched in 2009 by His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, General Yoweri Kaguta Museveni. And he was focusing on secondary schools to make sure that uh, we develop uh, a generation uh, among the youth that is patriotic and is ready to serve and to sacrifice for their country. Good enough, the President had a policy document he, he went around, he met teachers. So when he appointed me to be in charge of the, the secretariat, the work was clear. Ensure you bring the teachers on board because they are the ones who ordinarily most